Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for a different type of video. I've been doing a lot of the same stuff over and over here on the channel, but it's time to finally branch out and act on a video idea I've had for a long time. I've just never really done it uh, for one reason or another. But on the EDC Weekly recently, I asked you guys in the comments to tell me what your bare minimum EDC is. I wasn't doing that to get a definitive answer. I just wanted to see what popped up more than anything, what you guys think are the most important items in an EDC. There was one comment in particular that suggested something called a whip kit, and that one stuck out at me. That is a wallet horology, a watch, instrument for writing, pen or pencil, phone, keys, illumination, flashlight, and a tool, which is a multi-tool or a knife. So I've written those down in my notepad here, and what I'm gonna try to do is put together the absolute best EDC, I can. 50 bucks is the budget. I'm on Amazon right now and I'm gonna go find the best EDC I can find for 50 bucks, a complete thing. Let's do the thing. Here we are on Amazon looking for the best EDC, complete EDC that we can put together for 50 bucks, not going over 50 bucks. I'm not gonna include taxes because I can't really add that up as I'm going because only some things will have taxes and shipping should be free because I'm gonna to try to stick to Prime only things just so they get here in a timely manner. I don't wanna be waiting to finish this video for like two months because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this stuff, it's gonna to come to me and then I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna get it, open it up, and then talk about the quality of everything that you're getting for 50 bucks for an entire EDC kit. But we've got $50 to work with and six items, so we're trying to basically stay under $10 an item at like eight or $9 per item. So I'm, I'd like to skimp on some things that I know I can get quality things of for less than $10 and then try to maybe splurge on a knife or something because those are typically a little more expensive. So let's go with minimalist wallets because I don't really like bulky wallets and a lot of you guys carry minimalist wallets. So we're gonna do that and we're actually gonna sort by price low to high and filter by prime which gives us this list. There's the JM Minimalist Slim Leather Wallet, which I've not ever really heard of. Joking Monkey. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Vamavala Hisimo for Art Napa Wally. Let's stick with one that I know is actually not bad because it's a pretty common wallet in submissions. There's the Buffway, and I'm gonna open that in a new tab, but there's also the Travelambo, which can get as low as six bucks. I've seen those for really, really cheap. So here's a blue one. Let's try to get one a little cheaper than that. I know we can go cheaper. On the other Travel Amba listing, there's a pink one for $5.99 at all times. We're looking for about six or seven dollars is, is where we're gonna try to say, $9.99. Striking out right now. If I can theme this EDC, I'm also gonna try to theme it. I don't necessarily know that that one's currently unavailable. I don't know that I will be able to theme it, but I'm gonna try. I'm not not making any progress here. $9.99 other than that one horrible $7.99 one. I think only the bright colors are gonna be the, the cheaper ones. Red, $7.99 for a red wallet. All right, I don't wanna waste any more time. We might come back to this at the end, but a Crosshatch Red Travel Ambo wallet, $7.99. So $8 out of the budget already. Next up is gonna be a watch. Filter by prime, sort by low to high. I wonder if there's like a nice Casio watch that we can uh, we can try to find or something that's not utter trash. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Some of these look bad. Ooh, there we go. Casio Casual Sport for 1050. That's not bad. That's not bad, kind of retro. Got that resin band. Ooh, this is, this is gonna be rough. Let's just, let's just peek at the slightly higher price watches. We're looking at like $12, $13 now. Um, these aren't bad. Like some of these like digital watches aren't too bad. But they, they don't have great reviews. So that's not very promising. This Casio is one of the first, the rest were uh, women's watches. So this Casio is the first rated one, 1050. Add that one to cart. Is it prime? Not eligible for prime. Uh-oh. 1079. Fulfillment by Amazon, no tax. Sin 79, that's not too bad. So the wallet was 
watch is 1079. All right, next we're on keys. This is an area where we can really skimp. So we can go with like S Beaner. We can get like a Nitize S Beaner for cheap. I think you can get a 398. You can get the plastic ones, which obviously is not the best ever. But if you're, if you're, the whole point of this is to say if you're building an EDC for the first time, like actually going through and picking stuff to be your EDC, the point is that you don't always have to start with really high quality stuff. You can get some cheaper things and, uh, it's okay get the cheaper stuff and upgrade later that's the whole point so here's the plastic nitize s beaner that is a dollar 54 and it's free free shipping for prime members when buying this as an add-on and it should be prime shipping like two-day shipping so we're gonna add that for a dollar 54. nice now we're on to the pen pencil combo uh this is this is gonna be fairly easy. I think we can go with like a Zebra F301. And I think that's going to be about the cheapest. I'll, I'll search for this and get the price for like a two pack because you can't buy them individually. Actually, yeah, two count 397. That's not bad. We're going to add that to cart. We're at 2429 right now and we have a flashlight and a knife to pick out. I think I know what to pick for the flashlight. I'm not sure for the knife, but just to be sure, when I searched EDC, I think EDC now technically just that term warrants a higher price on products, which is unfortunate because some things don't need to be any more expensive than they already are. And just the term EDC, which any pin can be an EDC pin, but when you say it's an EDC pin, that price immediately goes up. And I'm not talking about the handmade and hand turned pins. I'm talking about a tactical pin. That's not really a tactical pin. Like they'll put the name tactical and EDC in the name just to charge a little bit more for it. And I'm not seeing anything stellar here. That's going to be cheaper. I love these F301 pins anyway, and $4 for a two pack is not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, we could go big with a 60 count for five bucks if you wanted, but I'd much rather carry these zebra pins for $4. Flashlight. Okay. So this is one of those things. What I was saying, if you search EDC flashlight, if you search EDC flashlight, you're immediately going to get different results than you would if you just searched flashlight. So we have $25 and 70 cents to work with. So obviously we don't want to push that with a flashlight. We can get a cheap flashlight, I think, but I don't want to go through the bottom here. I don't want to get the cheapest thing possible and get a crap flashlight. I think these two are going to be the most crucial for picking the better stuff with. That's why I've gone as cheap as possible on everything so far so that we can splurge a little. We've got $25, almost $26 to work with. So let's filter by prime sort high to low or low to high rather, and see what we can come up with. See, we can get, I think, a decent EDC flashlight for under $10, I think. So if we're going through here, a lot of commonly used things from EDC, like here's the Lumen Top, that is a AAA, I believe. Um, we've got the Coast G20. We have the Olight i3e EOS for $9.95. All of these, these four right here, are great options for EDC flashlights. Uh, but let's just go just a little further and see what else we can find. See if there's anything around that $10 mark. That'll give us about $15, $16 for the, for the knife. I think I'm going to end up going back with maybe the Olight. We have the Thrunite TI3, which is a really great flashlight for that price, $13.95. But I don't want to be left with nothing for a, for a good knife. So let's see. This Streamlight MicroStream is killer for $15.99. This is $9.95 for roughly the same flashlight. We've got that and the Lumen Top. The Lumen Top is $120. I've got a lot of Olight flashlights. You guys know a lot about Olight. Uh, let's go with the Lumen Top. It says Prime Free Delivery. So actually that's not gonna come in time. It's gonna come later than a lot of these others. Uh-oh. I'm gonna add it and see how much later it's gonna come than some of the others. If it comes around the same time, it'll be okay. Uh, so that was 997. We have 1573 to work with. Again, we're not counting taxes for the, the budget. We've got 1573 to work with for a knife. All right, so here is the, the tricky part. 
we want a decent knife we have almost 16 dollars to work with so the easy option would be to just get an opinel because they're about 15 dollars, about 12 dollars, really and they're fantastic but i really don't like an opinel for edc so with that in mind we're searching edc knife on amazon which we could search different terms we have prime checked sorting low to high for price we're really going to push that limit i'm going to see exactly what i can get so we got the gerber para frame which is a good starter knife the kershaw shuffle not a bad knife you got the spider code bug which is a great little itty bitty keychain knife we're, we're pushing the limit now though 1660, 17, gonna be tough. 1550 for the CRKT squid, C1798. Let's go back and search folding knife and see if we can find anything cheaper. I think I might go with the shuffle for this price. Uh, folding knife. All right, low to high folding knife. All right, we're getting plenty of different results this time. And like I said, EDC, when you search EDC, it tends to muddy the results a lot. So we might be able to find something pretty good. Look, there's so many more options now. So many more when you don't search EDC. You're not getting anything from LA Police Gear. No lap G. You have to look past the sponsor. We're only up to like $7 now. We're on page two. So I'm hopeful that we can find, see there's a Smith & Wesson, that's okay. There's your Oppenel, $15 on the nose. It is an option. It's not the one I want to go with though. Whew, I'm not happy with any of these results. Unless we can find a rat, Ontario rat two. See if there might be one under our budget. I've seen them under $12 before, so it is a possibility. And I'm not sure it's gonna happen today. It is not, sure is not. The cheapest rat two is gonna be $23 right now. Uh, let's search rat one just to be thorough. We are looking at, yeah, 20, 30 bucks. They do go on sale pretty often. So if you are doing this yourself, realistically, I say play it right. Don't buy it all at once and try to look for those deals because you can get really good knives for really cheap, which the Kershaw Shuffle is, is a fine knife. It's perfectly fine. It is, it is definitely not the best knife money can buy. Uh, you've got your 8 CR13 MOV steel for a first knife and for buying an entire kit for 50 bucks. It's really not bad. Here's an all blackout one for 1316. I think that might be the one we go with. This is actually the only shuffle I've not ever owned. All right, let's add to cart. That's 1316. Brings our total to 47.43. So if there's anything we want to update now, we should do it. We've got two dollars and fifty cents to work with which means that we can get maybe a better travel ambo wallet see that's even better right there i think maybe this one this orange white vapor brown 14.99 all right i think we're gonna go with this this bottom left one call it a day we're gonna get this little uh leather wallet for 9.99 add to cart before taxes and shipping and everything which shipping should be free and everything should come around the same time we're at 49.43 so we are 57 cents under budget and i don't think there's any way for us to squeeze out anymore so let's proceed to check out there we go with the orders placed now we just wait maybe we'll come back in a couple of days <laughs> so the stuff finally came it's been four days since i placed the order most of this stuff came over the weekend but the Lumen Top gave me a little bit of trouble because it said it wasn't gonna come until Wednesday, it's now Tuesday. It came yesterday, and because I thought it was gonna come late, because I had to finish this video, I went ahead and ordered the Olay i3e EOS, and now it's coming late, and this one is here early. Before we dive into this gear, I wanna reiterate the point of this video, and it's not to tell you to go spend 50 bucks on this gear right now. This is not the best gear you can buy. It's none of that. I chose the $50 price point because $50 is a pretty common gift card amount. And if you need to upgrade your EDC or you're just getting into it, or you just wanna find some cool budget gear, I wanted to show you that just because you've got a limited budget doesn't mean you can't get really cool gear, stuff that has high value and quality. You can find that if you just do enough digging. But also this isn't the be all and end all of a complete $50 EDC because you probably already have something from this. If you've already got a watch or you don't even want a watch, 
you can take the money that we put towards this watch was about $10, I believe, and you can put it towards a better wallet or a better knife. If you don't need or want a flashlight or if you've already got one, same thing. So if you've got a flashlight and a watch and you wanna get other gear, you can take that, I don't know, $17, $18 and get a $30 knife and get something like an Ontario Rat 2 in D2 and have a phenomenal knife and still have room in your budget for a wallet, which was $8. It's a good wallet for eight bucks. This carabiner, which turns out to be smaller than I expected, this carabiner was under $2 and these pins were, I don't remember, like three or four. And then after you've got your core EDC that you're happy with, you can begin to save and upgrade to nicer things if you want. You don't have to. You could keep budget gear for the rest of your life and it'll probably serve you just as well. So let's get into this gear. Let's start with a watch because this is probably the one thing that uh, I think most of you would have not included. If you had a $50 budget for EDC gear, you probably would have not gone with this watch. Funny thing is right after I did this video, I shot the EDC weekly and this exact watch was in the EDC weekly. So this is the Casio F91W-1. So it's a very basic $10 Casio quartz digital watch. Comes on this little plinth or this little display mount with a little Casio tag. This is your dad's favorite watch. I think this is pretty much the exact watch my dad wore when I was growing up. Uh, if it wasn't this one, it was just a slightly more robust version of this one. It's your basic watch. It's got basic functions. It is water resistant, but it'll do the job. It's not fancy. I'll put it on my wrist. It is a very small watch on my wrist. Very tiny, but I could see myself rocking this if I want to go out and work in the woods. I've got a G-Shock, so I'm not worried about damaging it, but um, this is actually kind of tight. So let's go to the uh, third to last loop. Wow, there's not a lot of tag end there. Very, very lightweight, uh, but it gets the job done. Does it have an alarm? It has an alarm, a chronograph, a light. Yeah, you got different modes. Ooh, that classic Casio beep. Again, I think this is probably the part of this EDC kit that a lot of you would probably skimp on or get something else instead of, and that's, that's perfectly fine, but there you go. That's the watch in this EDC kit, the Casio F-91W-1. Next, let's go with this uh, Nitize s beaner because, well, this turned out to be a lot smaller than I expected. I, I thought this was gonna be the full-sized plastic carabiner, but it's not. It's two inch, inch and a half, number two. I probably should have looked at the number when I was buying it, but I was kind of in a hurry. But yeah, this one's this one's quite small. This is actually probably the size I would go with, and I'm not just saying that because I screwed up. This is the size I would go with because I feel like a full-sized S-Beaner is just a little big. I carried one for a long time, like three or four years, I put my keys on an S-Beaner. I feel like it just kind of makes your, your keys hang way too low when you're using a full-sized S-Beaner. But this size right here, if I were to get the, the S beaner I want, I'd get a metal one. Um, and these springs are pretty loose, so you run the risk of your keys actually falling off it. But this size is actually perfect for a key carabiner, something to hang your keys from a belt loop from. There you go, I think that was a dollar fifty approximately. We also have these zebra ballpoint pins. These were only four bucks, so both of these items together around $5.50, not that big of an expense, something that you probably wouldn't think too terribly hard about because you can pick these up pretty much anywhere, add them to your EDC at any point. And these are at most hardware stores, but they're a little more expensive in the stores, like four or $5 just for a little EDB carabiner, which is kind of dumb. These are what I used throughout my entire high school career. I used Zebra F-301 pens, and I loved these things. And I loved disassembling them. That's what I did when my teacher was talking. I would take the cap off, then I would take the grip off, and then I would take the spring, and then I think this slides off. This cover slides off, but can't do it now. Oh, they actually started pressing them on. They used to slide off. But I would totally disassemble it and then put it back together, and that was what I would do on repeat throughout all of my classes, it was just disassemble, reassemble, disassemble, reassemble, and uh, these are classics. If you wanted to go a little nicer with your zebra pins, you could get the F-301 Compact, which is like a Fisher Space Pin Bullet where the body nests inside the cap and the whole thing is like this long when it's actually closed up and then it, it turns around into a full-size pin. There you go, that is the writing utensil, the Zebra 
F-301. Next is the wallet. This is the Travel Ambo, what do they call it? Front pocket wallet. Uh, these come in a million different colors, a lot of different styles, and this was the one that jumped out at me the most, and it just so happened to be, I think, seven or nine dollars. I know the original that we got was like seven bucks, but I did not want that ugly red or yellow, so, or pink. It was a hot pink one for like five bucks. But this is a leather wallet. I don't really know if it's actual leather. It feels kind of like leather, but it does not have, it doesn't, it has a very pleathery smell. And I imagine it is, but this thing is ultra slim. It is a very, very slim wallet and it's minimalist and it will hold your basics. You've got a cash sleeve here in the middle. You've got your ID slot and you've got a side pocket here, which you could also use that for cash instead if you wanted. And then you have three card slots on the front. Very, very slim. And for eight or nine dollars, you really can't beat this. This is very similar to what I carried mostly through high school. It's a very, very slim, minimal wallet. I was obsessed with wallets in high school and all through college. And I actually just got rid of all of them. I just sent them all to Goodwill because I had so many. I had a backpack full of wallets. So I sent the backpack and the wallets to Goodwill. Minimalist wallet, you can get them for 10 bucks and under. If you've already got a wallet, put that money towards something a little nicer. But I think the Travel Lambo is a pretty good starting point. There are tons of similar wallets and, I, and I'm sure they're all probably made in the same factory and stamped with a different brand. But these are okay, the stitching is fine. It may last you four, five, six years and you'll be perfectly fine. You do not need a really high-end or expensive wallet, like a Hitch and Timber wallet or a Bellroy. You don't need those, they're luxuries. And it's really nice to be able to help support smaller makers like Hitchin Timber or Cave Leather Co or Arc Company. Support those guys if you can because they make really cool stuff. They make great gear, but if you can't afford it, there's nothing wrong with going with a cheap budget wallet from Amazon like the Travel Ambo. All right, flashlight. I did open this one up because I was afraid because of the way the, the package felt that it didn't have a battery in it and I'm glad I did because this Lumen Top flashlight does not come with a battery. Just for your reference, no battery included. You get in this package, a little key clip, the flashlight, a cover, which is like a diffuser or uh, a lantern cover. I already put the battery in there, but this just diffuses and, and makes it kind of like a lantern where it'll spread. It'll create a lot of spill. It also glows in the dark. I don't know if you can see that, it's green. You get some spare O-rings down in there and some paperwork that we don't care about. And that's all that's inside the box here. But this little flashlight is gonna operate very similar to a lot of the twist lights, but this is like the Everbright flashlight that I did the video on the keychain flashlights. The reason it is, is because when you twist, it selects a brightness you can't really twist any further. It turns on almost when it's fully screwed down, but when you untwist and twist again, it's a different brightness level. So high, medium, low. So you have three, and I think the highest is, I think 120 lumens, but this is a little neat addition that I will lose immediately. So there's your high, and then when you turn it off, it glows in the dark, so pretty neat, I guess. But you can attach this to a key clip, and I think it's pretty solid. I think it was $7.99, $7.94, something in there. It was under eight bucks. The Olair i3e EOS is pretty much the same thing. Very, very small. This would fit in an EDC organizer if you were to upgrade your wallet to an organizer of some sort this would slip down inside those very, very easily. Or clip it to your keychain and you've got a nice keychain light. There you go, that is the Lumen Top EDC-01 flashlight. And now we're on to the knife, and this is gonna be a controversial item, it just is. Knives are so, so, so personal, and everybody's got different tastes, different blade shapes that they prefer, different blade steels, different styles, everything. Knives are almost like jewelry at this point because there are so many styles and options. But I chose this one for a number of reasons. One, there were a lot of parameters to be met. I arbitrarily chose these items to be what I had to include in my $50 complete EDC. And this was what I was left with, $17, $18, I believe, somewhere in that ballpark. And when you're under that budget, it's kind of tough, especially when you throw in, it has to be on Amazon and it has to be Prime eligible. There are other blades that some people will say are better, like an Oppenel, but the problem with Oppenel is that it's not a good EDC blade, in my opinion, unless you carry it in a sheath or something. So we didn't have budget for a sheath. I think it's better as like a camping blade or a knife in the kitchen. But for EDC, I think there's a reason that this is a really good knife 
for that budget. And there are others much, much better, just a couple of dollars more, but this is the budget we had. And this is serving multiple functions. And this was also my gateway knife. One of my gateway knives it wasn't the Kershaw Shuffle 1, it was the Shuffle 2. I had the Shuffle 2 and I carried it for a long time. So when we get inside, so let's go ahead and open this up and we get the knife. There's a little paperwork inside. We don't care about that. This is the blackout version of the Kershaw Shuffle 1. And there are different colors, tons of color options, which is one thing. You can get a color combination that suits your needs or matches your theme. But also, I think it's a solid blade. It's got really good ergos. Um, there are some people that have pointed out some of the older versions have uh, stops that actually hit the blade, which will dull your blade. This I don't think is one of those that is affected by that design flaw, but also this serves multiple functions. I said that you've got a cap lifter in the back. I know everything has a bottle opener, but you've got that, but you also have this down here on the bottom that is a flathead driver and a pry tool. So we didn't have a budget for a pry tool. It wasn't in the parameters here, but if you need it, you have a pry tool on the end. So it's not in the budget, but you can pry with this, but it's, it's better suited as a big wide flathead, but you do have it there. This is the blackout version. So you have a tire tread kind of scale here, but it's actually a Kershaw logo throughout the whole thing. Looks really neat as a tire tread sort of design. And uh, this is eight CR 13 MOV steel. So it's not the best blade steel ever, but if you're looking at a $17 knife, why are you complaining about blade steels? It's a budget knife with budget steel and that's gonna be fine. You're just gonna have to get used to sharpening it more often, which is not hard to do because it's very easy to put an edge on. What this knife reminds me of, there is the Pilar. I know there's the Pilar and it's about 25 bucks and it is hand over fist a better knife than the Kershaw Shuffle. But if you're dealing with like a $15 budget, this is the closest you're gonna get to something like a Suru. And it could tell you whether or not you're gonna like something like a Suru. So this is a really, really good budget blade that's an entry to something nicer. You have very similar blade shapes. You have very similar ergos. This is a much, much nicer knife, obviously. But this, for what it is, for the price, is gonna be a solid blade. And I think it completes this EDC really well. So there you have it. That is the best complete EDC I could put together for under 50 bucks that included a wallet, a flashlight, a key situation of some sort, some sort of organization or key dangler, a pin, a watch, and a knife. I think it'd be hard to build something better than this that includes all these items for under 50 bucks. I think it can be done. But this challenge doesn't need to end here. We can challenge to do a better EDC for the same price point. We can up the price point. We can lower the price point. We can try it on eBay. We can do a bunch of different things with this challenge, but also, but also you guys can get me to carry this gear for a week straight. If we get this video to 2000 likes, I'll do it and I'll make a video updating you guys on this gear and what it was like stepping back from Paramilitary 2 or Chris Reeves Abenza and going with just this, just this. So if you wanna see that video, get this video to 2000 likes and I'll do it. And let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do another video like this with a different price point on Amazon or eBay or different websites like a Walmart EDC. Go to Walmart, buy it in person, 50 bucks, see what I can find and make the best of it. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button below to let me know. And let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. If you wanna see more EDC videos in general, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you wanna support the channel, there'll be links for this gear and all of my favorite EDC gear down below. Another way to support the channel is to go to patreon.com forward slash bestdamnedc. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.